Hey guys, it's Vaughn and thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing how I transformed my toddler's bedroom space, not only to upgrade it, but to customize it to fit her needs. When my husband and I first bought this home several months ago, the home was fully carpeted, the wall colors were stale, and the closets were outdated and less than functional. If you'd like to learn more about our home renovation projects, definitely subscribe to my channel. But as for today, I'll be sharing all about how we were able to transform Anne's room into a beautiful space that she loves. Loves. So definitely be sure to check the description box for links. So before we get into the details, I wanted to brief you guys on the big stuff. So we did redo all of the floors on the second floor. We let Luna take care of that project for us. They did a beautiful job. We also had the bedrooms painted lambskin beige by Sharon Williams, and we replaced Anne's light fixture for a ceiling fan that we got from Menards. Here's Anne's bed that I got from Ikea that I built myself. You guys, it took me about 35 minutes. This is the Sunvik extended bed frame with the slated bed base really easy to put together this is a toddler bed but it's a lot bigger than the ones I've seen so there's plenty of room for Ann to kind of roll around she really loves it majority of the bedding came from Target except for the comforter which I got from Amazon it's the perfect fit I love it I'm gonna link it below my daughter really loves her cuddle and kind heirloom dolls and this is Stella the polar bear and actually this doll was the inspiration behind the color scheme for this room the handmade texture and neutral colors really dictated the feel for this room most of the accessories in here came from Amazon like her throat pillows and some of these stuffed animals, this poof. I got the blanket from the toddler bedding section in Ikea. I wanted to quickly share one of Anne's favorite dolls. This is another Cuddle and Kind heirloom doll. This is Maya the Mermaid and she's the first of her kind by the brand. Now let's talk about customization a little bit. Um, there was a particular look and feel I was going for for the art for Anne's room so I ended up just freehanding these prints using a Sharpie marker and frames from Ikea. You'll notice that I repurposed a lot of items from her nursery and this side table is one of them. This used to serve as my little breastfeeding station and now it's her nightstand and it holds her little fox lamp perfectly. I definitely wanted Anne to have an area designated for learning and crafts, so I reused these IKEA spice racks to hold her books, and I purchased this adorable activity table from IKEA as well, which is the perfect size for hosting friends and doesn't overcrowd her room. Anne has a ton of really fun books that we've pretty much been collecting since before she was born, like this one with her name and my name incorporated into the story is so fun. She's got this one book that her auntie Alex brought her back from South Africa. She's got books about her favorite TV shows and my personal favorites, the ones about self-awareness. I got her this cute little elephant hamper for her dirty clothes um, that I got from Burlington. Really love that. Now moving on to the window wall. I want to show you guys some cool stuff. I am reusing all of her furniture pieces from the old nursery. So these are all from Ikea. This wardrobe I'm just using to store her pajamas and some stuffed animals in the inside. Up top I just have a couple of her cute stuffed animals in this storage bin. I love it so much because it does match really well with the theme of her room. So I ordered a few more from Amazon for her closet. Now my personal favorite part of Anne's room is this little teepee that we got from Amazon. I love the bunting, the little string of flags. It's super adorable. I was able to install or basically set up this teepee right out of the package myself. It took me like five minutes, super easy. I had been shopping all around looking for an affordable teepee. These things are kind of expensive and I was also running into trouble trying to find one that would fit the theme of her room and not be like too overly girly. But I really like this one because it has that nice lace detail. It's for the most part neutral and the colors and fabric work really well in this room. And I was so lucky to be able to find this pillow at Target that had the exact detail as the opening of the teepee, so I was really excited about that. This teepee features a side window with some lace detail that you can have open or closed. It's so cute and adorable, and Anne loves sticking her head through that thing. And I love that it gives her the privacy that she wants even when I'm in the room. So moving on to her little rug, we did get this thing from Art Van. I think it's a five by seven, so it's super plush and soft and great for her to play on. The color is more of an off-white creamy kind of gray color so it's actually really easy to keep clean and if she does spill something on it just a quick wipe off with a soapy towel gets the job done. I installed these blackout curtains myself. I got the rods and the curtains both from Home Depot. These are really good for her afternoon naps, but they're also really energy efficient. And no toddler room is complete without a play area, so I created this corner for Anne. These storage bins are great for storing her toys and keeping them organized. I did get these from Ikea. These have been really great with keeping her toys off the floor. I keep her wooden Melissa and Doug puzzles in one bin, her little baby doll in its own bin. I have a bin for her electronic toys and a bin for her instruments. And then on the other side, I have more wooden puzzles. 
Her balls are in their own bin. I have a bin for all of her miscellaneous plastic toys and a bin for her wooden blocks. Above her storage bins, I found these cute little adorable canvases from Hobby Lobby. And these poofs, they are actual genuine leather from Morocco. They were from a friend. Thank you so much, Mina. And then in this corner, I'm just using her old pottery barn hamper from her nursery to store bulky electronic toys. This is Anne's dresser. This is also from Ikea. This is another item that we're repurposing from her nursery as it used to be her changing table. So this thing does have have some wear to it but what we tried to do was just go with it and coordinate some other items in the room to match it instead of replacing it now that Anne is two what we think is we're probably gonna end up changing the theme of her room probably every like two to three years so there's no reason to splurge and spend extra money where you don't need to so we were all about repurposing as many items from her nursery as we could now I am using the IKEA scub boxes to organize her drawers as we did before and we are still using the Pampers pure diapers and I do have an important message to share with you guys something new from Pampers Pure I don't know if you guys have seen their website yet but there's even more to love about it because you can now pick your prints in the bundles that you choose yes honey you can pick up to four adorable prints from eight designs that have been designed in creative collaboration with Chrissy Teigen each bundle includes four packs of Pampers Pure diapers with your selected prints and four packs of Aqua Pure wipes right now you can get seven dollars off your bundle which is diapers and wipes when you subscribe for a limited time so hurry and click the link below I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this after you saw my Instagram posts about the new prints with the tacos and bulldogs. So definitely click the link below so that you never run out of your favorite diapers and wipes again. And last but not least, I wanted to share some of the upgrades that we made to Anne's closet. You guys saw the video clip in the beginning. Her closet was basically a disaster. I mean, it was literally a hole in the wall. So what we did was order a closet organization system from off Amazon. It was super affordable. I think it was like $100. And we had my dad install it for us in less than an hour. So it was pretty easy. And we're just using these storage bins that we got from Amazon. And with all of these components, you guys, it has been so easy to keep her closet organized. Like it doesn't require a lot of work and thought at all. And when you think about it, I'm able to keep her coats, clothes, shoes, toys, supplies, everything in this one closet. So it's a pretty good deal. So that is it for today's video, you guys, of my affordable toddler room makeover video. I know you guys have been waiting patiently to see this video, so I am excited that you waited, and I hope you guys did enjoy it. The purpose of this makeover was to create a sensory-friendly, semi-gender neutral room for my two-year-old who was diagnosed with autism, while creating a soft and comfy environment that she would enjoy. And what was important for us as her parents was to make sure that this room would be something affordable and scalable that could grow with her over the years. We definitely needed to be able to repurpose most of her nursery furniture. I hope this video was helpful and inspirational and I hope that you'll subscribe for more and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.